time to start getting those jack-o'-lanterns ready if you haven't already. Oh my gosh, go and ahead. Christy Davila, <laughs> owner of Christy's Casa de Colores, is back with us, this time with pumpkin carving tips and some alternative ideas so you can avoid any sort of knife accidents. Excuse me, I've been up for a while here. Good afternoon, Christy. That's cool. Hey That's cool. That's such a radio voice. <laughs> I love it, I love you it. You have to put up with him for just the next three to four <laughs> minutes. <laughs> I don't mind. It's 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 awesome. I'm having a great time today. Unlike I Port appreciate Fiona, it. Something stuck with me. Anyway, <laughs> all right. Pumpkin carving tips. I mean, you know, it's digging in there and getting all the guts out and everything yes, like that. Yes, that's definitely the fun part for yeah. sure. But different different ways of doing it, right? Yes. Uh, first things first. You want to pick a really nice symmetrical, as smooth as possible pumpkin, um, and you want to make sure that you get your setup ready. So put a towel down, a plastic wear, um, but some tools that you could use are um, a melon ball, um, a fruit, some fruit tools. So mm -hmm. you could use one of those to carve out real slowly um, your design. You definitely can use stencils. And um, also I brought from um, HEB, you can get you a nice little package. It's always a safe way to go, safe route to go for the for the teenagers. Could you use cookie cutters to just kind yes. of make the indents? That's and, awesome, oh, Fiona. That's yes, I was going to mention that. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, think about well, these are, are great little tools too for some of that, that finer stuff because different, uh, you know, um, teeth on here, some finer, some a little coarser. So yes, I'm just absolutely. Spit it out. So, and, and also these are nice because they have a rubber handle on them. So that yes, you get all the gook on your fingers. Exactly. Uh, and I was mentioning earlier the fruit carving tools. You could use uh, those chisels for getting your nice clean etching marks, marks there and some detail there for the top as well. So that's a lot of fun. Um, the cookie cutters is always a great way to go. Um, you definitely want to make sure you're carving away from the from your body. Um, and these beautiful pumpkins, I can't forget to mention, were done by a family friend, uh, head chef Isaac Cantu. Uh, he did all of this work here, and he just did a beautiful job in the detail. If you take a look, <laughs> yeah, the intricacy is fantastic. But I mean, go through the kitchen drawer with all those kitchen tools, even in your, your workshop, and, and see what you got out there to do a little bit of the carving. But some yes. other great ways to decorate pumpkins too. Absolutely. You don't always have to carve anything or cut. You can have the kids, you know, paint your pumpkin. We've got a nice little, uh, my little pony here. My daughter helped me make. Um, Look at this. She did all the paint work and all the glitter sprays and she had a great time. Um, and then I've got here next to her a little Frida Kylo with stuff that I found around the house. Construction paper. And I've got yarn I glued onto the back for the hair. Um, a nice little old scarf, you know, hanging in the closet that's never been used. So it's great to find things around the house. And, the and that is a plastic, on yeah. a plastic pumpkin, Correct. right? Correct. And this yes. one's on a, a this That's is a real, a real one. one, yeah. And then the simplest, and I think almost one of the cutest ones, is yes. that. Yes. Absolutely. You don't need any tools. Right here, you just need a few sheets of toilet paper. We've got a couple of plastic eyes and then the plastic pumpkin we used for the base. And just have at it. Have a good time. My daughter also made this little tiny baby mummy, uh, mummy pumpkin right next to it. Oh, that's <laughs> With the eyeballs. <laughs> good times. She has great ideas. And if you want to decorate your yard for any occasion, literally, she can help you out. So, for more information on Christie's Casa de Colores, <laughs> just go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Christie, always a pleasure. Thank you. <laughs>